Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Start the day off. Uh, there's nothing like uh, playing Move the Black Mamba, and that's not going to be possible. I'll need to draw his wife to do that. This girl uh, is a wild quad girl. She's uh, very, very hoodie and very hyper. Uh, she's also uh, had a bad shed and, and pretty dehydrated right now um, and very foul but she's of a relatively small length and uh, should be relatively manageable once I can get her out. I'm using my new signature hook uh, by John Zagel. Come on. And, uh, yeah, you already figured that out, didn't you? All right, well, how about, have a swim. Here we go. Oof. Have a drink, have a swim, calm down. Don't be spazzo. Johnny will be pleased to know that, uh, You'll be pleased to know that the first uh, snake this ever touched was a black mamba. Uh, it really color-wise goes well with the hook. Uh, my friend John Zagel of Georgia Herb Supply uh, custom made these for me. Uh, a very, very well-balanced graphite shaft. Uh, it's almost weightless. Uh, custom anodized aluminum hook part for wear resistant durability, beautiful uh, Black Widow grips, graphite shafts. I got them in a couple different lengths. Uh, I have one, uh, one hook that's of a special shape, which I actually asked. This is one of John's earlier hooks. I, I asked him to reproduce this shape because it's my favorite shape for working with snakes in the house. Uh, so I put that over the, in the other room while this one's over here. But uh, special thanks to John at uh, Georgia Herb Supply. It's the Viper Keeper uh, signature hook. Because she will undoubtedly like to shoot upwards. Big mamba. Oh, flat neck, huh? Don't make me get the get the tongs going here, okay? Uh, I will use them if necessary. Folks, you won't see me getting any closer. This is one of the snakes I absolutely stay far, far away from. In fact, usually I'm not in the room when he works with them. We are 
are trying to really get out of there, aren't we? Take the forceps out of the tube, please. Right there. pretty well so go ahead I got her two-handed come on let go oh Jesus she's grabbed her two things come on yes yes that's well, let idea. go let go okay see that's <sighs> come on let go that's why I mean some assistance is a really good thing because imagine me trying to undo that safely by myself. Hold time. No people, sure. I'm not sweating because of the snake. It's just very hot. It's hot and humid Muddy. in here. It's 78 degrees with 58% humidity. Okay. I'm trying to also watch to make sure the head does not turn yes. around yes. or anything like that. Got some broken ribs there, sweetie, huh? No wonder you don't like people. Musked or peed or something. Musked. Okay. Yeah, she's gonna tie up in a knot, huh? Is that what you're working towards? Not if I can help it. Too bad they don't realize that you're actually helping them and. Yeah. Oh, I know you're trying really hard right now. Huh? Watch. Yeah, she's scrunching herself. Yeah, I see. But <laughs> I have a death grip on her. Don't let her go. No, don't let her go. That mouth was wide open. Uh, yes, indeed. I saw it. Uh, um, 
I'm not sure if it was wide open because it saw me and was going to bite me, or it was wide open because I was crushing its little head in the no, door. No, it was open before you closed the door. Uh huh. Sorry no. about that. <laughs> that is not a happy mamba. Eh, nope, they seldom are. All right. Well, she'll uh, she'll get used to it. She'll as soon as she calms down, like that one, uh, she'll start tongue flicking and exploring her new residence. Right now, she's got an adrenaline rush going, which I don't particularly have going. Uh, I wasn't terribly excited about the whole thing myself. I only, uh, only really thing that I didn't like was slamming her head in the door, but I think it was a case of her head or her biting my shoulder. Mm -hmm. uh, and. Uh, my shoulder wins every single time. Yes. Okay. This is an awkward camera angle, but uh, I'm moving the very large, very dangerous uh, black mamba. Uh, I already sort of let her know that food was not at hand. By when I opened the door, I sprayed her butt down. our green mamba who's just learning to trust me otherwise she can be very high strung there you go see I wasn't coming to bother you I was just coming to feed you sort of occupied a little bit. I'm going to move the camera in for a little bit better view because I'll feed her several of these because they don't really amount to a whole lot. It looks like Mr. Puff had her eight, um, both his, uh, his mice. Uh, I need to find a female Lake Nakaru Puff Adder breed him with. Uh, a female uh, died of unknown causes. There you go. And the boom slang seemed to be eating well. Uh, uh, two rather good sized mice have disappeared from inside their cage. I just leave it outside their door. Um, the male is very, very skittish and inoffensive. The female is skittish and very offensive and uh, uh, puffs out her throat and strikes and hisses and, and that's a snake that you do not want to be bitten by. Uh, it's essentially uh, the venom equivalent of getting Ebola, except you're non-infectious. Where are you going? 
Well, that was rude. What are you doing? Hi, right, yeah, I'm looking at you. You got it in a bad way. It's okay. I'm, I'm not going to bother you, uh, but you should really think about repositioning it so you can uh, uh, eat it better or faster. I'll leave her alone and let you folks watch. I feed my friendly uh, coral culver here. You like a chick? Huh? You like this chick? Huh? You like that? Well, I'll just leave it there. You can decide and you're on your own if you want it. Boy, somebody ate that. Did you eat that fatso or did you let the boy eat that? Or did you eat the boy? making out over here at Mamba Land. We moved to the back of the cage to finish that off. You're okay. You're okay. Yeah, I'm just going to remove that so we can see. The only reason why I did that is because her mouth is occupied. Clean her water dish uh, when I'm done and put it back in a little later. You shouldn't have showed me your tail with a little bit of uh, of shedding left on it. Here you go. Come on. Whenever you're ready, you can come get it. Come on. Come on. Here, let's see if we can give it to you the, to you correctly this time. There you go. There you go. See if we can tighten up the shot a little bit. So you people can't see it, but I'm kneeling down on the floor the the way I normally work uh, because if you present you know, a large form, you're standing up, uh, then you look really gigantic to them. Uh, does it put me at a disadvantage uh, if I needed to escape? Uh, you betcha. Um, but uh, I'm willing to take that risk. I have a pair of uh, tongs, uh, which I use as a foil, and I can... Uh, uh, generally deflect most uh, 
uh, most strikes. Uh, I've missed only once. Hi. How you doing? How you doing? You ready for another? Yes, I know how to give them two, two snakes correctly. Here, I'll even assist. There you go. How's that, huh? Is that service? Now that's three, right? I gotta keep track of these. I'm hoping uh, uh, to move her in with Kermit and we produce some eggs uh, next season. Uh, you know, she, you know, she looks like she, she might, you know, lighten up on me a little bit and not be so frightened of me. And, uh, you know, everybody knows Kermit has a... Uh, Beautiful disposition. Uh, I think the South African uh, male, uh, I'll try to find a female to pair him up with because in all actuality, the South African uh, green mambas are a completely separate species now. Here you go. Got it? There you go. Oops. There you go, there's four. Hey, you're going out of my shot. There we go. Ugh. You bloody thing, you. Sorry about that, folks. Now, as strange as it seems, the uh, it, it's sort of funny. The green mambas seem to be more of a bird eater uh, than a rodent eater even though uh, they will take both. Um, whereas the boom slangs won't, don't seem to, well, I think I've left some chicks in there, they take them, but uh, um, they seem to take rodents uh, much more readily. Hi. Yeah, don't get freaky about the camera. It's not going to bother you. And six. After she eats, she'll disappear into the hide box or head up into the tree to bask uh, so she can digest. Since quail chicks are a, a bit of a bit more expensive than uh, rodents, uh, I reserve these uh, uh, to this to the ones that really appreciate it and are otherwise a little bit difficult to get to feed. 
Um, there you go. These are 40 cents a piece. I just bought a thousand of them, so it was like $460 with the shipping and stuff. Uh, uh, and I go through maybe 25 or so a week. So those don't last very long. So I try to use them quite uh, sparingly. Are you getting full? Huh? Are you getting full? Okay, this is your last one. This is your last one. What are you doing over there? Are you thinking about having a, a, a walkabout? Snakes, uh, I have found as their, uh, their tummy gets full, uh, they will do, uh, they will try to, uh, to flee uh, their cage. Some of them will, especially the new arrivals. Okay, now that we're done uh, feeding, I'll slowly pull the camera back so I can close the door. Okay, that's all, sweetie. That's all. There you go. There you go. We're done.